Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of our foam rolling series. What we're going to be working on now is the hamstring portion of the lower body. So what Paige is going to do, very similar to last time, is find tissues that are tender and roll back over them five to six times. Everything has three angles and we're going to make sure that we get both sides. So to start, she's going to scooch the foam roller out from under her butt and she's going to pick a side that she's going to roll. From here, she has a couple different options. She can use her hands and the foam roller to support all of her body, or she can use her right leg or the non-rolling leg to support her body along with that to reduce some of the tension and strain off of the shoulders, elbows, and wrists. So, either way, she's going to lift her butt off the ground and she's going to start rolling from the sit bone that we left off at all the way down to just before she falls in to the back of her knee. Same idea as before, rolling back and forth. If she finds something tender, she's gonna correct it by, by hitting that spot and focusing on it five or six times, okay? And then after she does that, she's gonna focus on the two other angles. So angle two being she's gonna take that left foot, she's gonna roll it inwards, very good. Noting that it might feel a little bit different. And then angle three being she's gonna take that left foot and rotate it outwards. Very good. Now, if you're able to handle this and there's some tension but it's not too intense, we can always add more pressure. We can add more pressure by taking the right leg and first putting the ankle over knee for minimal pressure or intermediate pressure and then taking the ankle over ankle for maximum pressure. Same idea as before, you're going to hit both sides and you might notice a difference. This can be from overuse, this can be from a foundational imbalance where one side is overworking over the other. So have fun finding and fixing it. 